King's Isle has added a way to go back and rematch certain bosses from Arc 1. And they've added a new NPC that you can go up to in the arena and she sells these recipes for crafting these rematches. So I went ahead and I did all five of them on my Storm, who is now max level because I actually decided to level my Storm this week. So my Storm's 150, all these will be level 150, and I actually did all these with just two wizards. So I'm sure there's people out there that have already sold these, but they're supposed to be challenging. They're supposed to be end of game content. I mean, it doesn't really feel like end game content. It's not like that, that difficult, but they're still a challenge, kind of like a, just like a little one shot challenge gauntlet that they've added in here. And the reward is spell limits. That's the main reward. Actually, I think it's one of the only rewards that drop from these fights. But I wanted to go ahead and show those to you guys. So I have all five in this one video. That's why the video is kind of long. But yeah, this is going to be the intro for it. And I have timestamps if you want to go ahead and pick a certain fight. I guess I should show the rematches here. But yeah, these are all the rematches. There's one from each world in Arc 1, starting with Nightshade. And then it goes all the way to Malastair. So we'll go ahead and just start with Nightshade, but if you want to skip to a certain one, then you can click the timestamp for that. But hope you guys enjoy this. If you do, leave a like on it, and let's jump into Nightshade. All right, here we go with Nightshade. So I didn't mention this earlier, but all of these were recorded in advance. So the commentary that you guys are getting is going to be after it's already been recorded. But yeah, I did all of these fights earlier today. It took me about an hour and a half to record all of these, but I wanted to at least have the recording and at least know what I'm doing for these and not just do a live recording where I'm like dying over and over even though I do die in this so here's the first one we have nightshade nightshade puts up one of those damage limiter bubbles and the first two turns it's only 500 damage so if you were to hit nightshade first turn you would only be able to do a maximum of 500 damage to him the good thing about that is it's a bubble so the same damage applies to him he has the damage cap, which is why it only does 500. So pretty good. I have death shields in, but honestly, it doesn't really matter at all because he can only do 500 damage in the first two turns. So we have pretty much nothing to fear with that. He does cast Deer Knight every single turn at the end. And it does whatever the damage limiter is. If you remove the bubble, then the damage limiter or... It's not really limited anymore. There's no limiter, but he will do 250,000 with the Deer Knight, AKA you get one shot. So you have to have the bubble up, but there is a trick with Nightbringer that you can use that I end up using when we kill. That's really good. Basically you Nightbringer a hit and then next turn you use your bubble to remove it. So it works out pretty well. But yeah, this one, as far as the fights go, this one is not very difficult. There's definitely going to be way more difficult fights later on in this video. This one's pretty straightforward. And with four wizards, I feel like this fight will be super easy. I was trying to think, like, which of these would you actually want to farm to get the spellments? Because that's the point of these, right? To farm it over and over again and get a bunch of spellments on each of your max level characters. This could be one. If people have a good strat for it and i feel like there are strats already for this one that make it pretty simple you probably do it in a few turns but yeah my goal here is to use triton i'm just blading up we have a negative what is it i forget what the what that death spell the shadow spell i don't even know what it's called uh winged sorrow i think it's called i forget what that puts up on you like negative 20 or whatever but it's not really too big of a deal if it was negative 40, I'd probably cleanse it off. You can faint in this one. You can blade in this one. So it's honestly not a big, big deal. Like the only times fights get really difficult is when you can't blade, you can't faint, you can't heal. Like there's so many cheats going on that it makes it just like stupid. So this Deer Knight is going to be doing, I think a thousand now because the limiter doubles. Nightshade recasted the bubble to be a thousand. And the turn after this, or maybe two turns after this, it would be two thousand. I think it doubles. So I didn't get a Shadow Pip, unfortunately, but I can go ahead and use Nightbringer on my Triton. It adds four pips to it, but for this fight, that's totally worth it. 
and to go ahead and cast that on Nightshade. So what Nightbringer will do is it'll skip my turn for now and cast Triton after whatever spell I use next turn, which is going to be the bowl. I don't think Nightshade does anything too crazy here. Actually, he does. Virulent Plague is pretty bad. Negative 40 is definitely something that you don't want to hit through. And we already have the negative 20. But luckily, we have cleanses on Terra's character. We can just cleanse it off. So, yeah, 1,000 damage on the Deer Knight. I'm at like half health, but honestly, it's not a big deal. Because I know I'm hitting... I think Terra's down to like 2,000 something. So she took more damage than I did. Yeah, this is one that if you don't kill quickly, you're definitely going to fall behind because you're just going to get hit with like 1k and 2k deer knights and that could be pretty bad. Like you're going to die really quickly after that. So yeah, cleanse off the negative 40. Go ahead and put up your bubble. And then we're going to get the Triton cast. So I like this one, pretty cool fight, kind of like the fell spawn fight, which I only did like a few times. I didn't really like battling fell spawn, I didn't feel like it was worth it, but yeah, very similar to that fight. Double faint, and that's it for Nightshade. As for the drops, I think you get like around 10 different spellments so not the best i still feel like i like the elemental retriever strategy of getting spellments but hey this is a way to get them so on to crocopatra this one i definitely need a prism as a storm hitter crocopatra hits pretty hard she doesn't have any minions it's not like the one shot crocopatra where she summons all those minions and then she casts like i think she even casts the guardian spirit on some of them she doesn't do that or at least she re i think i remember her like reviving her minions or something like that but yeah she doesn't do that put up the storm prison first turn and then you have to trap her i don't think you can faint but you can school trap and i also don't think you can blade because i don't think i have blades in at all so no faints or blades but yeah so that did 2000 and Terra's in like Jade Gear. So the plan is to just school trap a bunch and then go ahead and hit once I get enough. I think I use Triton again for this one. Honestly, for this fight, I probably could have put in a higher pip single hit spell. Could have put in like King Art, maybe even Storm Scion. Probably could have been a good choice for this. But yeah, this one you could probably do with four people. I bet you could kill her and like turn two. Like it would be really easy. All you have to do is just a bunch of traps. If you're hitting with storm, you just prism. If you don't, if you're not hitting with storm, then don't worry about that. And you could probably do this in two turns. So maybe this is the one that people want to farm. If they're just going for spell miss. But I think it depends on what like which one of these you do depends on the spell miss that are dropped. So I think like for Nightshade, you get like the lower rank spellments and then Malastar would drop like the higher rank spellments. But yeah, I actually get hit with Iron Sultan here. It does, I think it does like 4k. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a pretty good hit from uh, Crocopatcher there with my frenzy up. But luckily we're going to hit and... That is another boss down with Triton. Apparently my favorite spell in this video is Triton. So yeah, put up the elemental trap there. Frenzy is probably one of my favorite spells in this game. It's so good. I wonder if they're ever gonna come out with that rage card as an actual spell that we can learn. That would change a lot if they did that. I didn't even have that many traps up, but Frenzy made a difference. She even resists Myth. So she does have resist. And then for some reason on this one, I got like so many Nature's Wrath and Locust Swarms. Like, 
not the best. <laughs> not the best in terms of the spellments that we got dropped there. Okay, moving on to Marleybone, we have Meowiarty here. This fight is probably my one of my least favorite ones. I would say second least favorite. Meowiarty summons three fire lemurs. I don't know why he's friends with lemurs, but apparently he is. And they've come to help him. So he summons these three fire lemurs who end up being really annoying. You'll see why. And I guess he also stuns first turn. Is that his cheat? So he's just going to insta-stun. Yeah, this one I actually cut out part of the middle just because of how annoying the fight gets. So there will be a skip a little bit later on. And I'm only skipping out parts where I'm just like trying to build pips back. This one you have to hit multiple times because Meowie already will do a mass guardian spirit. Yeah, he's doing it right now. I was like, wait, is he casting it right now or what? It was like an astral cast. But yeah, he has mass guardian spirit. And it looks like he's casting it all on himself, but it's not him having like four guardian spirits. It's him casting that on himself and it somehow is applying to all the, the lemurs too. So that's his, you know, special cheat. Basically means you have to kill him twice and you have to kill the lemurs twice. So for this one, we can blade, no problem. There's no faint cheats at all either, so you can blade and faint. The only thing you have to worry about is these fire lemurs, so you want to kill them as fast as possible. Because otherwise, they just spam. Like, they... <laughs> I think they start using their yeah they're, they're starting to use their spam already they just put up smoke screens and debuffs all over the place they also use choke a lot so I would just take them out like honestly looking back at this I probably could have used Stormlord this turn but I think I decided to play it safe and just blade yeah, the faster you kill those guys, the better. They don't have that much health. They're just regular mobs, but it just makes this fight a lot more tedious. So yeah, faint on Meowiarty is going to be good. All these bosses have a good amount of resist to every school. Even though Meowiarty is myth and I'm Storm, and you'd be like, oh, you get a good boost on that. You don't really. It doesn't really work out that simply. Like, they wanted this to be more challenging so they just kind of up the stats on all these bosses oh yeah this is also their favorite spell i think i get hit with this spell like three times in this fight that's why it takes a little bit longer it does like okay damage but the main thing is it puts up the, the accuracy debuff <laughs> of course because all the fire spells just have to put up accuracy debuffs all over the place Yeah, this is uh, the problem that I'm running into. Can't use Storm... I mean, I can. I can try to use Stormlord, but... Yeah. High chance of me fizzling right now. Negative 45 and 35. Yeah, we're not gonna power through that today. That's unfortunate, but... I have a ton of pips. So yeah, the lemurs are still annoying. Casting their Lava Lord. Eventually I'll be able to cast my own spell and actually kill them. But yeah, then they all get resummoned and you have to do the thing again. So make sure you have like multiple blades for this. You don't just want to have a seven spell deck and hit one time because you're not going to be able to complete it with that. Double Lava Lord. The only good thing about that is the accuracy debuffs don't stack. And he tries to stun us again. So the unfortunate thing now is somehow I haven't gotten a shadow after all this time and 
when I fizzled Stormlord, it shuffled it into my deck and I didn't draw it. So yeah, we have to use Tempest here. So Tara's healing because I'm at like half health. I don't know how much health she's at, but she's probably getting low as well. The good thing is there's no downfall to healing in this fight. I think most fights there's no downside to healing. There's not too many cheats if you heal. Yeah, Tempest is obviously going to kill. This is honestly overkill. If I had to go back, I would have put in two Stormlords instead of two Tempest. But yeah, it easily kills all of them. Bad thing is, they're going to resummon for like full health. All of them. I don't know why Meowie already has the Mass Guardian Spirit, but that's his thing. So we're going to go ahead and skip here because all that happens in what I skipped is me blading back up, getting my pips back, finally got a Shadow Pip. And uh, yeah, we can actually do the fight without fizzling and getting stunned and all that. So that's all I cut out. Yeah, this is the final hit here, I think. Actually, no, it's not the final hit because, yeah, like I said earlier, I think I ran out of faints. Yeah, that was the reason that uh, this isn't the final hit. Oh no, I had one faint on him. Yeah, it just wasn't enough. Even with bugs, I still couldn't kill. Yeah, we already. Yeah, he's res with like 2k. And I actually make a mistake here. I mean, at the time, I didn't know. Like, I blade, or Terra blades me, and then I use Tempest. And you would think that Tempest would kill a 2k myth boss, right? Like, <laughs> you would think that he would easily die to this. Like, I've seen Tempest with... Actually, it wasn't 2pip. I have four pips. Four pip Tempest should kill him, but since he's got so much resist, it only it does 2,000 and he survives with like 100. So yeah, I have no hits except Stormlord. At first I was like, okay, we'll just wait until I get seven pips and then use my last spell. But then he pulls out the, what is he? I forgot, like this is, this spell is called like Tatsel worm or something. I forget what it's called, but all you need to know about this spell is that it confuses somebody So that was pretty annoying And I think I decided to just go ahead and flee and get my pips back get my spells back but Yeah, just Since there's no late cheat at least for this one. I don't think there's a late cheat for nightshade either I'm not sure about that though some of these have late cheats and some don't. But yeah, I just decided to go ahead and port back. And the nice thing about their, you know, update is you can go ahead and just join the same turn that you flee. And you're in on the planning phase and you get to cast your spell immediately. So there's honestly no downside on some of these for just fleeing and coming back. You get all your pips, you get your spells back. I mean... Why not? So yeah, that's Meow already. Got some Cyclops minions, I guess. But moving on to the next one. So now we're in Mushu. And this <laughs> this fight right here is definitely the most annoying and difficult fight out of the five. Meow already, I would say, is second most difficult. This one is number one. So as you can see, there's four Oni bosses and the other ones, we only had like one boss each. This one, they decided to go ahead and put four bosses with a bunch of cheats. So if you blade, it'll cast a, what is it? A, I don't want to say cleanse. It's not cleanse. They'll do a remove charm. I think they remove like two or three charms on the caster. So if you cast it on your friend, then you're fine. 
They also have a bunch of cheats where like the Jade Oni can't be trapped. And I think the Death Oni can't. I think it's the Death Oni. The one on the left, um, you can't faint. I'm pretty sure you can faint two of the Onis, but I never tried it because once it, the I fainted on the Death Oni, I think later, once that one fails, I was just like, okay, we're not gonna faint. We're just gonna trap only. But yeah, school traps are fine on all of them except Jade Oni. But honestly, just having people blade you is gonna be really good. So that's why four people in this one would have made this extremely easy compared to what I went through. They also hit pretty hard. This is his first turn and I'm down to like half health almost. And they heal too. Cause Jade Oni is life. I mean, they're all like dual schools, but yeah, Jade Oni is life and would heal. So yeah, Death Oni is on the left there, and I just decided that I'm going to go ahead and try to kill him first. So I school trap on him. And then I think, is this the turn when I use faint? They also just have like random cheats like this where they cast shields. Jade Oni will cast spirit armor. And later on, they even have cheats. Oh yeah, there's the faint that fails. Later on, they even have cheats where they cast Confuse on a random target. So the cheats in here are just like way harder than the other fights for no reason. <laughs> yeah, Jadoni will cast that on himself no matter who gets the trap. He does not like traps at all. So no traps anywhere near Jadoni. Yeah, there's that again. It's his favorite thing. See, they just have everything. Death Oni just cast Legion Shield. I'm dying over here at like 3,000 health, getting crit on. It's just not a fun fight, <laughs> especially with two wizards only. What is this guy going to use? Hydra? Just getting beat up by four Onis. I walked into their dojo and I just get slapped. And then the fourth Oni. Yeah, hits me with Phoenix, so... Yeah, they do a lot of damage and it's just constant. So I'm almost dead already. I haven't gotten a shadow. Go ahead and heal with Terra. Use Pig Z. I'm really trying to get the shadow so I can use Sound of Musicology. Just because I know it's going to do mass damage to them. Was that also his cheat? So he cheats to put up blades for himself. And then the Plague Oni cheats to put up weaknesses for us. It's just like cheats all across the board <laughs> for this fight. The one good thing is I went first. I don't know if you always go first in these, but going first kind of saved us here. So I'm happy about that. And we get the make cast brace that's needed. So, did I use Frenzy? No, I didn't use Frenzy. Another trap for the Death Oni. I think I was too scared to use Frenzy because they hit so hard that if I would have gotten hit with Frenzy, I probably would have died, even with the heal. Yeah, the Brace was a nice made cast from the pet they don't really have enough pips to do anything too crazy here 
luckily, but they do have two shads going on, so. <laughs> Alright, so I get the shadow. I'm gonna use my seven pip sound of musicology to try to just do some damage. I was hoping that it would kill the death oni. So look at this, random confuse on Terra. And then this guy decides to do like a shadow cheat, which gave me a shadow pip and him. So I mean, <laughs> is that really a cheat? <laughs> kind of helped me. So yeah, I'm hoping that Musicology does mass damage here. If they didn't have the Legion shield, I probably would have been better off with this. And I still have that weakness on. So it wasn't the best hit. I still have like two blades. But yeah, I probably could have... I mean, in hindsight, I could have used Frenzy there and gotten a better hit off. But I mean, I was scared of the Onis. I was scared of them one-shotting me with Frenzy up. Like, dying before I actually got this hit off would have been really bad. Yeah, they got their shields and they have resist, naturally. But we did about 9,000 to the death only, so he's almost dead. The bad thing about Musicology is it puts up a blade on myself, and they hate that. <laughs> so they hit me with a couple cheats, put some more weaknesses up. Oh yeah, and he decides to use uh, Nested. I don't really know what happened with this fight. Like, the other fights are kind of like whatever, but this one, they decided to just go all out with the cheats. I really wanted to use bugs here because, I mean, Plagoni gave me a free shadow. I should use it, but I didn't draw it. So I have to use Tempest just because I need to get this extra damage in before I die. Bugs would have been so good here, but... I didn't have it drawn. I could have probably discarded to have drawn it earlier, but I didn't expect that to happen. Jade Oni's still cheating. Hera was confused there, but luckily she got the cast off. And yeah, I just I'm just trying to do some free damage before I die. So yeah, I know the, what, the death oni is almost dead. And we've done a good amount of damage to the other onis. Yeah, now he's going to heal. I think this kills me. Mm, almost. Oh yeah, this is what kills me. <laughs> Hungry caterpillar when I have 110 health. <laughs> yeah, they they went for the overkill on me. Of course. Okay, so we're just going to flee and come back. There is a late cheat on this one. Which is really annoying, but just decided that we're going to, you know, flee, come back, deal with it, because it's worth it. I was deciding if I should take out any traps or anything or put in some different spells, but I mean, I feel like I was good. I had enough traps in. Honestly, I probably had 
too many traps because I didn't need that many. It's better just to like keep hitting. And the blades, if you have like four people, you just blade one or two wizards and then you just keep hitting. You don't really have to worry about traps. That's what I would do. I'm wondering if that is the late cheat. Probably is. He cast it twice actually. But yeah, we're going to skip just because all it was there was me building pips, blading a little bit. Apparently getting confused as well. Getting double confused, but it didn't work. We have two blades here. One minus 20. Actually, I think we have the two minus 20s on it, but only one's gonna matter for the hit. But this Tempest ends up being really good because I have the Frenzy up and Frenzy is just super strong. Yeah, that that hit did <laughs> mass damage. We killed three of them. Jade only survives because he's the main boss. And um, it takes me a while to kill the Jade Oni. So I skipped there because... All it was was a little bit of back and forth on getting confused, hitting each other, Terra not casting the blades on me, trying to build up pips, trying to get a shadow. So that's all it was. I just skipped out, you know, all that. Finally get a shadow that I can cast Iron Sultan to put Jade Oni to rest. Like seriously, this fight should have been only Jade Oni, not all the Onis. They could have left it as Jade Oni, one boss, make it similar to the other fights, and be done with it. But they had to go all out and put four Onis for some reason. But yeah, that is that fight. That is the hardest fight by far, and <laughs> I don't want to do it again. I would only do that fight again if I had four wizards. So, on to Malister. This one I really like. This was a, a nice <laughs> change of pace from the Jade Oni fight. It's Malister and Sylvia Drake together. Sylvia Drake is looking better than ever. <laughs> so in this fight, I carry the wand hits because they put up this negative 100% weakness every single turn. And you have to get that off. Otherwise, you're just going to constantly be behind and never able to hit. If you see some screen tearing happening in this battle, that is not from me. That is actually from the fight itself, like that right there. That is from the game. Like, I don't know what is wrong with this fight. It's kind of bugged, but there's like some graphical issues going on. Yeah, if you see that, it is from the battle. Didn't happen in the other battles, though. Oh, it looks like I brought Triton back for this one. <laughs> put Triton, lucky Triton, and put it back in the deck. So yeah, they're going to cast the negative 100 every single turn as long as Sylvia and Malister are together in battle. They're going to keep casting it. And they're also going to cast graphical glitches on the battle. So that maybe you won't be able to tell what's going on. I don't know. But yeah, I just think the dynamic of this fight is really cool. It has some cool cheats in it too. Decided to go ahead and get the weakness and the tower shield off. But Sylvia doesn't like it when you damage Malister. Even for zero damage, she doesn't like it. She will damage herself in order to heal him back up. So... I th I think I, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and wand hit again, but I'm still behind on the negative 100%. Luckily, I have cleanses. We definitely need cleanses for this fight. But yeah, this fight you can blade in 
faint freely. Pretty sure. And they already have Frenzy up. They don't even have that much health. Like, I think Malister has, like, what, 10k health? Not too much. I honestly hate this spell. <laughs> like, this is, so, this is one of my least favorite spells. Especially when they just, like, there's no music. Like, it's dead silent. It did a lot to me, though. Okay, got the shadow. The only bad thing is that I'm going to get hit with a negative 100 again. So we need to start cleansing these off. So I think Terra's getting the cleanse. Yeah, Sylvia and Malister are unstoppable together. Actual power couple. We get the cleanse there so I can catch up on these negative 100s. Forget what this cheat is. She. What did she do there? Oh, she used detonate? Okay. I have no more negative 100s on me. They're going to cast one next turn, but that's fine. We can just cleanse it off. For some reason, my May cast or weapon cast decides to go off and use my faint, so thanks. <laughs> Though Mouser did have a uh, tower shield on him, so I guess I got rid of that. She's gonna protect Mouser at all costs. But yeah, I can finally use glow bugs. You just need to predict and cleanse early because, I mean, you don't really need to predict it. You know they're going to use it. But yeah, just go ahead and cleanse the hitter. And you'll be good for this one. Even with the shields, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, he gets rid of his. Okay. Thanks, Mally. You could probably do this fight extremely quickly too. Like in a few rounds, I feel like you could be done with this one. With just like blades and cleanses on a hitter. Wouldn't be that difficult. You can faint too. Probably mass faint. But yeah, I would say this one was definitely my most favorite fight. I like this one. I like Nightshade. Nightshade had some interesting mechanics going on. Procopatra was just easy. Meowie yeah, already was annoying. Jade Oni was unnecessary. <laughs> Sylvia absolutely destroys <laughs> herself in order to give Malister a 100 percent blade. I don't know if that's worth it, Sylvia, but I mean, hey. And then, I'm um, pretty sure... Oh yeah, here I wasn't sure what to do, because I'm like, are they, they're not going to use the negative 100 anymore, right? So I wasn't sure what they were going to do. Luckily, I decided to heal with Pigsy. Because he uses mana burn. And that did absolutely massive amounts of damage to me. So yeah, healing with this Pigsy was really good. Because Malister is mad after Sylvia had to do that. Like, he probably blames us for, you know, Sylvia going <laughs> and dying yet again. Even as a Wraith. Yeah, so that is it for this. I used Tempest and we're done. So I really like these five fights. I thought they were fun and I'd love to see stuff like this in the future. It's just a nice take on some bosses that we've already seen. I'm sure they're going to continue them. 
and it's an interesting way to get spellments. I'll say that. I'm sure people will farm these, but I don't think this is the most efficient way to farm spellments. It might be for four wizards that want to, you know, just grind these and get a bunch of spellments, maybe. But seems to me like Elemental Retriever is the best. But yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like on it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you all next time.